it's all changed. Many, many more isobars across the map, and that means stronger winds. And if you follow the isobars back, those winds are coming from the northwest. This is an airflow that meteorologists call polar maritime. Polar because the air originates in northern Canada, very cold air here, and maritime because the air takes a long track across the Atlantic Ocean. Now, the Atlantic Ocean, compared to the bitterly cold Canadian air, is relatively warm. And that temperature contrast leads to rising thermals and bubbling shower clouds, cumulonimbus clouds that pop up randomly all over the place and head our way. Now, these cumulonimbus shower clouds will be a wintry mix because of the cold air, hail, sleet, and even snowfall. And it's northwestern areas that will bear the brunt of these snow showers because uh, here we're likely to see by Monday frequent snow showers. And over the hills, 10 centimetres may build up through Monday and Tuesday at lower levels, highly variable amounts of snow, but the possibility of a few centimetres here as well. Those kinds of snow amounts can cause disruption, a yellow warning in force for snow and ice. But because they're showers, it will be very hit and miss. One minute heavy snow, the next bright blue skies. One place, two centimetres down the road, very little snowfall. It's not a guarantee that we'll see an even covering of snow in this area, but it's a risk that we will see disruptive snow and ice. Elsewhere, there is still the possibility of a few flakes of snow, particularly again over western hills, but there'll also be some sunshine. One thing we'll all have in common through next week are the cold winds, a marked contrast in how it feels outside compared to the calm of this week. Snow showers for some, particularly northwestern areas, but for many, we're going to replace the January gloom with a bit more sunshine.